Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is David and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a side menu inside of Swift UI. We're going to create a side menu as the one you see on the screen here. You'll be able to click a button to dismiss it and a button to enable the side menu like so. You can click on one of the buttons inside of the settings and it will take you to some other page or any other action that you have. This is going to be a really fun project because a side menu can drastically improve how your app functions. Okay, let's get started by creating a new Xcode project and saving it to our desktop. We'll go to Xcode, File, New, Project. We'll select iOS app. We'll say Side Menu Demo, Swift UI, Swift. Let's now run our application and see how it's working. As you can see, we have the default Hello World program. We're now going to create a side menu view displayed on this screen here and then afterwards we're going to add animation and be able to hide and show that side menu as you saw in my other app. We're going to first start off by embedding all of our content inside of a navigation view. We can select the text and we'll just say embed in ZStack but we're really going to change this to navigation view. And to now press Command Alt P to see the live changes. And now we can add a navigation title like so. We'll say Side Menu Demo. And let's change the background color here. I have an extension to do this, so I don't have to type this out. Let's say red color. And I'll place this Hello World inside of there. Actually, let's make it mint. At the top, we're going to choose an SF symbol that represents the three bars that you saw in the other app. So we'll say dot toolbar. The content that we're going to put inside here is going to be an image of type system name text dot justify. We can make that a little bigger using a title font and also change the background color to white dot red. When you tap on this button, we're going to have some kind of action. So we're going to embed this inside of a button now. Action. This is going to be the label. And our action is going to be print show menu. Let's run our code and see how we're doing. There we go, show menu. We're now going to create a new Swift UI file called side menu view as the one that you see here. So let's go to our project, file, new file, and let's say side menu view. Here's our side menu. Now let's add some content to it. The first thing that we're going to do is embed everything inside of a VStack, like so. Embed in VStack. We'll change the hello world to settings. Dot background color is going to be black. Edges ignoring safe area. We'll just ignore the bottom. See how that looks. And let's make a spacer to stretch this all out. Change this to title. Foreground color white. And let's add some padding to this V stack as well. We'll just say 16. And now this is a good starting point. We're going to add more content to the side menu later on. But now let's see how this is going to be displayed inside of our contents view. Go inside of contents view and inside of this Z stack, we're going to create a geometry reader. We're not going to get any value, so we can have an underscore there. And we can say side menu view. See that? Okay, right now it's on the left side. So what we need to do is take this entire side menu and embed it inside of an H stack. 
and then push it to the right side. So we'll embed inside of H stack and also throw in the spacer there to push it onto the right side. Let's add a little more padding to this. Say padding of 32. We're going to make one small adjustment and add navigation bar title display mode to end line so that we have a smaller navigation bar up top. Now the way we're going to be able to hide and show the side menu is using an offset. So we'll say on the side menu offset x is going to be 0. Let's see what that looks like. Still the same. That's exactly what we expected. And if we want to remove it from the screen, we're going to say dot offset x is going to be equal to UI screen dot main dot bounds dot width. Now, if we apply this offset, that's what's going to push it off the screen. We're now going to create a state variable that's going to show the menu or hide it. And to do that, we're going to go up top and say at state private var show menu. This is going to be of type boolean and initially it's going to be false. Let's make a mark comment here and also up here. So what we're going to say is when we want to show the menu, we're going to have an offset of zero. And when we want to hide it, we're going to say the offset is going to be the width. So to do that, we're going to combine this statement into a ternary operator like so. Dot offset x is going to be equal to if show menu is true, we're going to say zero. Otherwise, we'll say UI screen dot main dot bounds dot width. Now we can delete these lines up here. Now to control show menu, we're going to go inside of this button that we created, the navigation bar item, and we'll say self dot show menu dot toggle, which is going to change it from a false value to true and a true value to false. Now let's see how this is looking. So we'll toggle it. There we go. It shows the menu and then we tap it again and it disappears. That's all you need to know for a side menu. Everything after this is going to be more advanced and will just make your app stand out more. One thing we can do is change the opacity of the background view, the content view when this is enabled. We'll say dot background. Color is going to be black. Opacity is going to be if show menu is true. We'll say 0 0.5, otherwise 0. Now let's see how this looks. So this feature is going to focus on the side menu more than the content view. All right, next thing that we can do is change this from this three bars icon to an X icon when uh, show enabled is true. If show menu, if we are showing the menu, we'll say the image is going to be X mark. I think it's X mark. So we'll say this will be X mark. Otherwise, we'll show the three bars. There we go. And we get a nice transition. Next, let's add a little animation to the side menu. We can do that by going down here and saying dot animation. We'll say dot ease in, ease out, duration 0 0.5. And the value that we're changing on is the show menu. Let's see how this looks. Maybe a little faster, maybe like 0 0.3. or 0 0.4. Now the last thing that we're going to do is revisit our side menu and add in some more content inside there. 
So let's go back into side menu view. Now under settings, we're going to create a mark comment and have all of our content here. So let's say mark content. And here we can have anything that we want. So for an example, if we want to send someone to a URL, we can create a link element and send them to a destination. So URL will say string is going to be a website. Let's say it's going to be Apple's website and label will say text Apple. Oh, we have to force unwrap this because we know it exists. We're going to add a divider up top as well. With this going to be 200, height will be 200, background color white, padding 16, and we don't need the blur, that's a little extra. So let's see how this is looking now. We click on it, and there we go. Here's our side menu, very beautiful, very nice. What are some things you can add into the content? Well, you could put rate our app, maybe a link to your website or other apps that you've published. You could put in a version number like uh, I had in my other application, maybe some in-app purchases or subscriptions. There's a lot of things you can put in here. You can get really fancy with side menus. You can make animations. You can make side menus that go like in an S shape. There's a lot of different ones that I've seen online. That's going to sum up this tutorial. If you found this useful, be sure to like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day now. Goodbye.